So what we're going to do today is extend what we've learned about um, polygons and area and perimeter to circles. Okay, and we're going to focus mostly on circumference and arc length today. And then tomorrow or the next time we're going to focus on um, area and sector area. But before we get into doing any sort of calculations, we need to be able to make sure that we can name certain parts of our circle. Now it is very important to note that when I'm talking about circle, I'm just talking about this right here, okay? Because a circle is defined as all of the points that are a fixed distance away from a center point. So all of this space in here is not technically part of the circle, just all of the points that lie on the edges like this, okay? So I hope that that's clear. So. If I want to name a circle, just like I would say triangle um, ABC, I need to be able to say circle what? How do I do that? Okay. And in order to be able to name a circle, what you're going to do is focus on this center point right here. Okay. So this circle is called, I'm going to draw a circle, put a point in the middle, A. So that is called circle Okay, that's how I name it. So if I want to talk about this circle specifically, I would say circle A. Now each of these segments, this segment here and this segment here have special names and you might already remember them. Segment AB is the radius. Okay, and you can use the variable or most of the time you're going to use the variable R to represent radius and a radius goes from the center to a point on the circle, okay? Now the longer segment, the red segment, which is CD, is the diameter, which you're gonna use usually the variable lowercase d to represent the diameter. And the diameter goes from one point of the circle to another point of the circle, but it must go through the center, okay? It's very important to know that it goes through the center. So if the radius goes from center to a point on the circle and the diameter goes from a point of the on the circle to another point on the circle through the center, that tells you that the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. Okay, very important to know. All right, so let's get into circle. Or sorry, let's get into circumference. Circumference is basically the circle equivalent of perimeter. So circumference is defined as a circle with diameter D and radius R just like we mentioned up above, has circumference of capital C equals pi D or capital C equals, if I want to put it in terms of radius, 2 pi R. Pi is just a number that represents a ratio, okay? So it's just a number. You're going to treat it like a number. So that's the formula. You can use either one of them. It's just going to depend on what it is that you are given. Um, in this video, we're going to focus on circumference. The next video, we're going to focus on arc length, okay? So normally we do notes in one video, an example in another video, but that's not how we're going to do it today. So let's do example one. Find the circumference of circle K in terms of pi. 
Now, when it says in terms of pi, that's actually really great. And I know a lot of you guys are probably not gonna be comfortable leaving it in terms of pi, but when you leave things in terms of pi, it actually saves you a lot of work and a lot of having to type things into your calculator. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the diagram, and then once I do, you pause the video and get it drawn as well. Okay, go ahead and get that diagram drawn. So I've got a circle that has a diameter of six inches, and it's asking me to find the circumference. So I know that the form, since I'm given the diameter, I'm gonna use the formula that uses diameter. C equals pi D. So that's pretty straightforward. C equals pi times six, which simplifies to C equals six pi inches. We are not gonna say inches squared like we've been doing because we're not finding area. It's the perimeter equivalent, so it's only one unit. And that's the circumference. The next example, some of you are gonna have a hard time kind of wrapping your heads around because it's got variables in it and pi in it. So just pay attention and then pause the video if you get stuck and go think about it, rewind back, okay? That's one of the benefits of doing things through videos that you get to take your own time to figure these out. Find the radius. of circle J if the circumference is 65x plus 14 pi units. Okay, you might be freaking out, but that's okay. All right, we can get through this. So it's telling me what the circumference is and it's asking me to find the radius. So circumference and radius, I'm gonna, I, that tells me I know I'm gonna start with the formula C equals two pi R. Now I must not be given R because it's asking me to find that. But it is telling me that the circumference is 65 X plus 14 pi. So in place of C, I'm gonna substitute 65 X plus 14 pi equals two pi r. Now my job is to solve for r. So in order to get r by itself, I have to divide by two pi on both sides. Divide by two pi, divide by two pi. Well, the pi's divide each other out. So now all I have to do is divide each piece by two. 65 x divided by two is just 65 over 2x plus 14 divided by 2 is just 7 equals r. And that's actually it. Um, because there's nothing more I can do, there's nowhere further I can go, my radius is represented by the expression 65 over 2x plus 7. All right, let's do example number 3. Find the circumference. If the radius is 10 meters, leave your answer in terms of pi. Now, if it didn't tell you to leave your answer in terms of pi, you would just grab your calculator, type everything in, get you a decimal answer. But since it's saying leave it in terms of pi, we're not gonna have, we're not gonna type everything in. We're usually not gonna get decimal answers. Okay, so this time it's give, talking about circumference and area. So the formula I'm going to use is C equals two pi R. So I'm looking for circumference, which means I don't know what it is. Two pi, my R is 10 meters. And now I simplify. Pi I'm gonna leave alone, so I'm just gonna do two times 10. So C is equal to 20 pi, don't forget the meters. And that's it.